Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's autograph video number 23. This week we're going to look at all things to do with tangents which will encompass the classic two tangent circle theorem. Now there's absolutely loads to get through today and you hopefully you'll learn a few nice little autograph tricks as well as all things to do with tangents so let's crack on. Um, right, I've got my circle set up as we've done in previous weeks. Three points labelled A, B and the centre at O. Okay, first thing, let's uh, whiz a tangent on at point A. So I select point A, that's highlighted. I right click, I scroll down and voila, there is tangent. And I'm going to do a similar thing down here at point B. So I'm going to select point B, I am going to right click and I'm going to do a tangent. And as we looked at in previous weeks, I can move those around and they will stay as tangents. Now what I'm going to need for this theorem is I want to mark the intersection of these two tangents. Now this is a nice little thing you can do on autograph. If I go into point mode, as, you, as we've chatted about, you get a bit of a cross. As soon as you hover over an object, it turns into an arrow, which means you actually put, attach that point to that line segment there. Now the problem, sorry, to the tangent. Now the problem is, if I'm hovering around here, I don't know whether that's attaching it to the purple line or to the blue line. But what I can do is I can hold down control on the keyboard and my cursor changes to a nice little star. But as I hover over at any intersection, look at that, it's a nice little circle. Now if I click down now, now remember I'm holding down control, if I click down, that will actually mark a point at the um, the intersection of those two tangents and I can show you as I move it around that point will remain marked so what I'm going to do is I'm going to label that point C so select it text box remove all that rubbish select uh, highlight that point C and there we go right now the first thing you need to check out about tangents is just to see that the angle that they make with the radius is always 90 degrees so this is a nice little setup to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create myself a line segment between point O I'm going to hold down shift and point A and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go line segment and now let's measure O to A to C so O holding down shift A to C give that a little right click and hopefully down there there it is angle um, I, th I think it's actually absolutely fine just going it to 1dp because hopefully this should be spot on. Everything's fine there. Click OK. 90 degrees. Is it always 90 degrees? Yeah, of course it's always 90 degrees. So that's quite nice there. And of course I could also do the same thing with O to B. But for this two tangent theorem, I'm interested in this length here, the A to C and the B to C. Now this also is another little trick in autograph because at the moment, if, if I may tell autograph to measure that distance, autograph doesn't have a clue what I'm on about because that line is in, is absolutely massive. It's you know got a length of infinity, it's a tangent. So what I actually need autograph to do is measure from A to C. Now the way I choose to do this, and it's not everybody's preferred way, but I think it works, is I'm just going to define a line segment on top. I'm going to select A, I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to select C. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to do a line segment, and that pops a nice little different coloured line segment on top. I'm going to do the same thing between C and B. I'm going to select C, I'm going to select B, holding down shift, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to get myself a line segment. And now the only thing you've got to be careful of is what you're actually selecting here. And this is where this little status box in the bottom left hand corner, status bar, comes into play. If I click there, if you ever read there, that's the tangent, so that's no good. If I click again, that's more like it, distance, that's the line segment, and it's highlighted in black. If I get my text box, distance, that sounds good, OK. So that's recording that distance there. Let's do the same thing down here. Click once, and you can see it's my tangent that's selected. It's in black. Click again. It's my line segment that's selected. Text box that. OK there, 6.2. And now we can just check that wherever I move my tangents around, the distance to the intersections is always the same. And that is the two tangents theorem. And that's it. I think we've got one more cheeky little circle theorem to, to do. We'll probably do that next week at some um, or some stage later on. But I hope this is uh, proving useful to you. And take care and happy Easter if you're watching this around this time of year. And I will speak to you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.